Welcome to just a quick demo of my um, database. I've put together a, just a website designing a new logo for RMIT Surf Club. We started off um, just converting their old forms to a Google Doc one, however that just is um, um, demonstrated in It's not connected to a database, so I've done a little bit of work um, designing a a member sign-up form. Uh, this is what the old one looked like. Very simple, and then just converted that to um, uh, to a Zoho Creator one. Um, this isn't quite right. This field shouldn't show up on the um, membership sign up on the web base we should just be clicking this same information um, here um, I've also had a crack at redesigning based on the spec uh, the form um, and if I zoom across to this one this is what the new the new form looks like it's got some normalized tables so these you just update or add a new semester when you need um, different kinds of memberships email address it's got some pre-filled um, things in there so and each of these fields have a caption that gives you the pre-done um, the pre-selected field I uh, found this pretty difficult because actually like this is the level of sophistication um, and there's no indication from the client that the changes that we recommend are actually they're willing to do the extra work or, or whatever to do that so um, so that's that I'll just give you a quick look at kind so you, you add them in here this is ideally so you can use the it from a different organization you could use the same database different payment methods uh, again this I haven't quite worked out how to do the programming but um, you should be able to have like their number and then their name come back here and again the same those kind of things don't really mean a lot. There's also capacity for upcoming events. These are currently advertised on Facebook, but um, I was thinking about a way to manage the RSVPs. Um, we, in our spec, we the Surf Club manages the um, the database or their members through Gmail and their events through Facebook and found really difficult. Like there's no way that what we're specking out or have the skills to build is anything close to that and, um, and it's probably there's more risk in terms of you've, it'd be localised on one person's computer as opposed to multiple people of the committee having access to it. Um, but the idea was that we could take um, the events that are advertised on their um, surf club page At least have those documented, it'll be able to track the payment. Um, another weakness of this is that it's just paid yes or no. With what we were dealing with, there's no um, <laughs> there's no like paid date or, or do we add extra fields to the form that says this is the sign up form from this event and etc etc how to actually manage that and just haven't spent time on the business logics 
um, to manage to manage that process. Um, uh, so yeah, so you just see that these tables. really have some captions or something to or a better syntax so I get it all like I don't know if it's 2014 or if it's 2014 semester one don't know I just haven't haven't captured that um, but although you can see in the table it's just another a view, another way of looking at it. But I could add add the the information there and and do it do it that way to add metadata. Uh, in terms of the views, and this is you can get a complete member list. Um, All the different types of memberships that we have payments again the idea here is and we didn't spec this up but just trying to think about what the actual purpose of this is it possible to um, actually manage the the payment function completely all the different dates here's to go, here's when this person paid or last paid. Um, main event types. In terms of re reports, I only have one report at the moment, which is on paid members. Again, it's not particularly like I don't. I don't like like how it looks. It doesn't particularly work for um, what we're trying to do. Um, and again, just some of the options in in Zoho Creator, the software platform is. It's different to access in terms of the things that you can do. So again, been having a play, but um, yeah, found it difficult because it kind of did a like I'm doing a non-standard um, course outline or course guide, and like the knowledge you gain from one of the subjects, which the rest of the class won't have done yet. It's like you're seeing this problem through that, um, through that filter. Whereas the guy, the filter that the guys are seeing it through is like a business computing. We just learn how to use Access, so we've got those skills. Whereas I haven't used that, and it wasn't covered um, in this course. It it just says on the um, It just says that um, yeah, 
good understanding of the basic computer fundamentals, some knowledge of a relational database and package such as Access, FileMaker Pro, MySQL and MS SQL is required and didn't quite kind of didn't just realise how big that would be um, in terms of this certainly flagged it and I uh, was told that it wasn't a problem and they start from very much basic level but it just hasn't been the case. Anyway.